Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Low Res Jam. The Low Res Jam is a game jam that challenges developers to make a game that's 64 by 64 um, pixels in resolution, and it had a bunch of optional themes, including police, gravity is the enemy, guerrilla warfare, it's a trap, secrets, there's just tons of them, so um, those were optional as well, so there might be games with none of these themes. I'm playing each one for about a minute, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can check them out further and all my information will be also in the description. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing and as always this video is brought to you in part by the lovely people on Patreon who support me. Let's get into it! First we're playing 14 Little Men. Okay. Let's start with A I guess. It looks like it has two mini games in it. Oh, I can walk. Oh, I just want to walk back and forth and not get hit by stuff. So I can't control where I'm walking. I just walk backwards and forwards. I think we're doing good. I can get back and forth. Yeah. I feel like we're doing great. Oh, we can also run over, like, the flame in the ground when stuff explodes. I wasn't sure if we had to completely wait for that to be gone. I could probably do this for ages. Except my fingers got tripped up there. So it's left foot, right foot. Yeah. What a cute game, though. Next. We're playing Avoid Red. Seems like avoiding games are quite popular so far. Okay, do we get blue though? I don't know if that was a power up. Oh, okay, so green helps us, and it looks like blue clears the whole screen. Maybe it doesn't, who knows. That's kind of cool that you can push stuff around. I don't really know what I'm doing though. And there's no way to get like guaranteed to watch my score. So one. I do feel like the barrier is what's making us not uh, able to consume. There's our time. Okay, cool. Next we're playing random sword thingy I made. Uh, I'm going to pick this more feminine character. Is that how I pick? It just says left and right. So I can move like left or I can move right. But I don't know how to select anyone. Now they're on top of each other. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is all they can do. Oh wait, I clicked on them. Okay. My bad. I didn't know there were mouse controls. Because it didn't tell me, it just told me A and D. The sword is really big, I'd have trouble lifting that. Hmm. Not really sure where we're meant to go, it feels quite unfinished, but they've got some stuff started here. Got an interesting looking character. A big sword. Next. We're playing Suku Beard, so move with WASD, push blocks, done. Got it. Level one. Huh. Yeah, it's gonna go there. Wait, wait. Hmm, because I need to push this one back, but then that kind of eliminates. Why is this so difficult? I just started. But that like makes that one, because we can't pull. Hmm. Have you ever felt like you're missing something like truly obvious? I have to push that down. If 
I push that there, they're trapped. I can't believe I'm struggling so much here. Is it? Yeah, it's that. Wow, that took me too long. <laughs> Next. We're playing Pong Break, which does require you to download a download a fantasy console uh, to run the game. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of like screenshots by the looks of things. But that was actually simple enough to do. And now we're playing the game. I quite like breakout style games. And the concept of this being just like a double-sided breakout game, also called Pong, is fun. Someday we'll get through to the other side. Here we go. Feels like a fairly simple game. Everything works well. You can move quite quickly up and down. As long as you're paying- Aw, that hit my corner thing. As long as you're paying a bit of attention, I was going to say. And there's only one life. <laughs> Next. We're playing Garden. Alright, so we're this little character. And we're killing flowers. Why can we not get rid of these flowers? I guess we had to avoid- actually, we're so fast that- Maybe, oh, well, let's say maybe it didn't matter. I'm afraid about the flowers on the floor. Like, I'm afraid they're gonna shoot me. I think I need to slow down despite our fast pace. To ensure that we're actually killing some of these. Oh, we don't need to click, we can just hold. Yeah, see that one. That one just attacking me is what I'm afraid of. On the heart, thank you. Narrowly dodged a flower bullet. It's a fairly simple platformer, but everything works well. Ah, I almost jumped over. Like that. Nah. I lost a heart. Like, there was a, an opportunity to get a heart and I missed it. Oh, is this like the end boss? Did we kill him? I think we did. Huh. Next. We're playing Bad Stickman. I don't know what the Stickman did to be bad, but he is it. Oh, wait. Run out of. Ugh. Oh, so that I can't get hit by police. Or also cars. Ah, but police also can run through cars. Feels slightly unfair, not gonna lie. I'm avoiding a lot of things. Like that should have killed the policeman. Darn it. It's a very simple game. I like the heartbeat, that feels really intense. I think we should get bonus points for getting the policeman hit by the car over and over. That's just me. Darn it. Next. We're playing Fallen. I'm just gonna hit play. There is a story, but I'm just gonna hit play. The story seems to be something around you travel to a pyramid in Egypt to see what mysteries behind it. As you stumble a few steps into the pyramid, you stepped on some fake floor leading you to fall deep under the pyramid, not knowing that anything inside the pyramid is a trap. Also watch out for spikes because it's a dangerous pyramid full of spikes. That's the story, according to the game's description. I'm just kind of gliding. Oh, did I glide into spikes? Maybe I did. Kind of got to wait for the screen to readjust or else you might glide into spikes. Yeah, this is where I glided into spikes. Ah, oh, treasure. We win. Yeah, it says you win. That was simple. Next. We're playing Rejected. Oh, no, that's fine. You're fine. You're fine. We don't want blue. We only want, like, tan, green, and red. 
fine. Yep. You're good. You're good. Not blue. On demand. Okay, so we only want green. Got it. Green's fine. No red. <laughs> no red. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Green, green, green. Bam. I like that we're just hitting each other's packages. This must be why my packages are always damaged. Oh, it's blue as well. Ugh. JK, my packages are very rarely damaged. Oh, I did click, but I didn't do right. All right. Blue, so it's blue, red. It's not green. Wow, it's going so fast. Not green. Ugh. I like the music. Aw, oh, darn it. Next. We're playing Reach the End. Alright. Okay, so this will get us out red. And then orange. Oh, I don't want to go red. So I was drifting for whatever reason. Blue. Yay. Alright, green. Blue. Awesome. Then we just need to do red. Need red or blue, but we've only got okay. Orange, yeah. So you just kind of gotta decide where you wanna go. And then go there. <laughs> it's an interesting game. It feels really random though. This level's felt almost impossible. Hmm. Then these ones are super easy, but I keep gliding. Next. 